let me just go over the math.pow method with you. So here, if I go to the Java uh, documentation for uh, all the math functions, you can see that pow is the power function. It takes two decimal numbers. Now in Java, if you feed it an integer where it wants a decimal, it will put the decimal in for you. The reverse doesn't work though. If it wants an integer and you give it a decimal, that it won't like that. So anyway, here, just to give you a couple of examples of how the pow method could work. I didn't want to do that. This is what I wanted. Um, so here, for example, if I go uh, math.pow uh, seven two. Uh, who can tell me how much is that going to return? Yes, Mr. Degush. Is it forty nine? Forty nine. So this would go seven uh, point zero to the two point zero. This would be the conversion that it makes from integer to decimal, and then it calculates that and returns it as a decimal number. Okay. Okay, um, so that was POW. I should have gone over that when I went over the math functions. That, this is tested on the AP exam, by the way.